more cheese, please. And she's gonna show us how to make the perfect charcuterie board. And I know charcuterie boards are more of a millennial thing. They are, I'm, I'm heard of them. I'm Gen X and I'm big <laughs> charcuterie. I'm also a low carb eater, so charcuterie, you know, cheese and meats and nuts, it's right up my alley. Yeah. But you have elevated this to an art form and I you have, make these yes. for people. And you but see this and you just you, you want to eat it. I want to eat it. That's what I and think. We didn't, I have, we didn't have really lunch, so I'm getting a little hungry. But I, I want to learn. If I wanted to do one of my own and not pay your very reasonable charges, <laughs> well, how would I do it? What, 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 what do I want to do here? So I kind of have steps that I follow. I always start with the bread. That's what I was going to do. Do you mind if I do this while you're no. describing it? So, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you ask questions. I'm going to start. Tell us how you got started. Yeah, so. I grew up with a family that loved to host parties. Mm -hmm. um, I love hosting parties. Um, when I bought my first house, I was most excited to have my housewarming party and have all of my friends like over. Me. Yeah. Totally. Um, Not me at all. I, I don't want anybody over. <laughs> um, so I made one for that party, and we were drinking some wine. And at the end of the night, my friends kind of convinced me and encouraged me to give it a try and start it as a business. Those are some and, good friends. Yeah. How's Ed doing? Let's check back oh, in. I, I, there's Good. a method to my this madness. Looks great. It's a little early. <laughs> you know, you, I think what you want everything to kind of be visual to the naked eye, but there has to be some kind of logic to it, right? Yeah, exactly. So, what is the thing, as we were talking about this beforehand, what is the one thing that needs to be on every charcuterie board? I would say your three basics you got to have your cheese, you got to have cured meats, and fresh fruit. Those would be my top three. You're looking at it. Yeah, well, no, because I, 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 let me say this. I take everything I do seriously, and I just, you know, I want to know if there's an opportunity, if, if the law doesn't work out, to get a job with you. That's all. Yeah, of I'm just course. saying. I think she's onto something here, oh, folks, I would because. I totally hire you. Is there, do you know, how does it, what's the best way to fold prosciutto so it sort of so, looks like a flower? Is that, does that look like a flower? You know, it, mm. kind of. I like how you organize the bread, pinwheel style. Exactly. You know, and you see how, you know, that everything's got its little place, a little sprig there, but yeah, I don't want to waste too much space with that. Found a nice little place for the, for the fig, which I just discovered earlier. Delicious. <laughs> so anyway. these are my favorite thing to do with these figs. You put a little goat cheese with it and then you wrap it in prosciutto. Well, yeah. Why don't we do that? <laughs> Start the whole thing over again. <laughs> well, no. Jenna, thank you so much for having us here. We are going to chow down on this stuff. Uh, it's mm. been great. Yeah, thank you guys Where for having me. Where have been my whole life? <laughs> so good. <laughs>